Good afternoon to all of you. I am Sonam Dubey, Assistant Professor in SAIT Bhopal. Now, today I am explaining the uh, topic requirement, elicitation, analysis, and specification. So, the guys, this is the software engineering topic and the unit number two. Now, so, so first of all, what is requirement elicitation? The requirement elicitation is a process of discovering the requirements of a system. When we design any system, first of all, we have to discover what is the requirement of a particular system. So it is just related with the system like hardware, software, communication, entries and interfaces like that. Now, it is basically collecting the requirements from stakeholders, users, and customers by conducting the meetings, interviews, and questionnaires, brainstorming session, and prototyping. When we conduct any meeting, we just take an overview from the users and the customers. What is the requirements of a particular user and what we have to uh, generate the software and how we can communicate with the person, particular customer like that. Now, the requirement elicitation is the process of gathering the information about the needs and expectations from the stakeholder for a software system. Now, this is the basic first step of software engineering process. Now, when we develop any software project, the first goal of is to understand the problem, what is the problem behind that particular software, and the software system is intended to solve or not and what is the need and expectation of a particular stakeholder who will use the particular system. Now, there are several techniques which are given in that slide. Now, are as follows. Now, the first of all, first is interviews, surveys, focus group, observation, prototyping. In interview, that is just related with one-to-one -one conversation. In this conversation, the stakeholder and customer take a part and they will discuss about the need and expectation. And the second one is survey. In this questionnaire session, they are distributed to the stakeholder to gather the particular information about the needs and expectation. And the next one is focus group. The focus group is nothing but a small group of stakeholders who are brought together to discuss their needs and expectation. And the aim was, is that the particular interaction between the certain um, customer and stakeholder. Now, the next one is observation. In this technique, we just observe what is the need and expectation of the stakeholder in their particular work environment. And we just collect the information about the needs and expectation and just make a summarize of need and expectation. And the next one is prototyping. Prototype is nothing but a model in which we just create a working model of that particular system so that the customer can easily understand what is the working behind that particular system. Now, the next one is first step in identify the requirements. Whenever the customer just create a software, the first question is reside the what is the requirement for that particular system? So there are two questions arise. How we can identify the purpose of a system and what is inside and what is outside that particular system? That means what is the objective and what is the aim and what is the techniques used in front end and back end? Now, the requirements elucidation gives the definition of a particular system in terms of that is understood by the customer. And next is analysis. In this analysis, the developer just understood what is the need and expectation of particular customer. Now, the requirement engineering process. Whenever we design a particular software, there are certain things and points comes in our mind, which is feasibility study, requirement elicitation, requirement specification, requirements validation and verification, and the last one is requirements management. 
Now the feasibility study. Whenever the client approves the organization with rough idea about that particular functions, the software must perform. Now the analysis does a detailed study about whether the desired system and its functionality is feasible to develop. That means when we analyze the particular software, we can think about it is practically implemented or not. And what is the cost constraint? What is the budget? And it is just per value and objective or not. Now, uh, output of this phase is a feasibility study report. Now, the next one is requirement elicitation. The requirement elicitation, the elicitation means the to gather the requirements of that particular system. In the feasibility report, if it is positive towards undertaking the project, then the next phase start with the gathering requirements. And in the next phase, the analysts and the engineers communicate with each other to discuss about the idea. On that, the software should provide and what are the functionality and features they just want to with the software. And the requirement elicitation is also known as requirements gathering. Now, the requirements elicitation and analysis have the four basic parts requirement discovery, requirement classification and organization, requirement prioritization, negotiation, and the last one is specification. Now, SRS. The SRS agents stand for software requirement specification. It is a document that is created by a system analyst. Whenever the requirements are defined and collected from various stakeholders, the stakeholders just create a list of that particular requirements and make a SRS. Whatever the requirements received from the clients are written in the natural language. The language, it may be a UML, that is Unified Modeling Language. In the software, the SRS basically defines how the intending software will interact with the hardware, software, and various interfaces, and what is the operation, and uh, response time of a system, and the portability, and the various platforms. Now, the essential properties of a good SRS documents are the following. The first one is coin size, structure, black box view, conceptual integrity, and very playable. Now, the validation. The validation just a requirement specification are developed and mentioned in the particular software. It checks the following. It can be either practically implemented or not. It may be valid as per the functionality and there are any ambiguities. That means there is no redundancy, consistency, and if they are completed or not. And it may be demonstrated or not. Now, this is the general idea of requirements and design. Now, what are the techniques of elicited requirements? The questionnaire, task analysis, scenario, and the use case. Now, this is the functional and non-functional requirements. So, there are many criteria like objective, end result, focus, essentially, origin type, and testing, and type. They can categorize the functional and non-functional requirements. Now, there are various notations that is based on the following symbols like rounded rectangle, rectangle, circle, arrows, and keywords. All these symbols have different meanings. Now, this is the object-oriented design in which we can follow the many concepts like object classes, masses, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. Now, Validation. The validation basically a quality assurance step in which just we check the correctness, completeness, consistency, clarity, realism, and traceability of a particular system. Now, these are the some techniques. Okay, thank you.